What is up everyone, I'm Gabriel Bella giving you another Dragonist tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy. Peace! What is up people, hold on. So my Facebook has been getting a bunch of questions of people asking me if how do I get my battle points up to 65k so easily. Actually, I'm not even the, the player with the highest battle points here, but basically, forget about leveling. If your level is 26, stay there for a while. You need to focus on battle points. So first of all, equipment gives you extra battle points, so if you can, keep upgrading them to 20. Because even if you get new equipment, when you equip them, they're, they're still gonna be plus 20. And of course, farm for the server set, that's gonna be the, that's actually the, basically, the best set available in game for now, at this moment. So next part is the costumes, they give you extra battle points. And you can buy costumes from the diamond shop, or you can get costumes for free in game. Next part is the heraldry, you need to keep collecting heraldry, keep crafting them. Each heraldry gives extra stats and battle for battle points for your for your character. So keep in mind what character you're using. For me, I'm using a sorceress, so I, I need to focus on mana attack, HP, INT, heraldries for warriors. Um, I, for warriors, attack, physical attack, strength, SDR. That's what I mean. Next part is the jades. So if you get equipment and you get jades, equip them to your equipment. Equip them to your equipment. So once you've equipped them, they're gonna give you, of course, extra, extra stats. For example, this level 4 Wisdom Jade gives me Intelligence plus 36, and it gives me also extra battle points. The next part is the title. Titles gives you extra battle points as well. You can unlock them. Actually, you just need to read on how to unlock them. Like this Crit Strike plus 1000, this is gonna be good for Assassins. It's unlocked when your BP reaches 10,000, that's actually pretty easy. Basically, all you have to do is check on these. The next part is the moniker. So all you have to do is get the required battle points that's been reached. One, two, three is gonna be easy to get. So once you get to level three, you're just gonna collect these battle medals. You can collect these battle medals on the guild shop easily by collecting guild contributions. All you need to do is keep contributing to your guild until you reach 7,500 scroll thingies, guild, guild contribution, and then you can buy two of these, and then you're gonna promote, and it's gonna give you BP bonus plus 5,000, and mana attacks plus 250, it depends on your class. The next part is the albums, all you need to do is keep collecting albums and activate them, as, as many as you activate, it's gonna give you plus battle points, you can get these here on the daily, and on the continental exploration, it's gonna be a dice game, so I know what you're thinking, you think that dice game is gonna be a waste of time, no, no, no. Once you've opened the CD, you're gonna get these albums. Let's try getting some now. I got another album, so these albums, once you've collected a lot, it's gonna appear right here as we can see, and when you activate them, they're gonna give you plus battle points. So the next step is, of course, crafting. I probably told you about this. This is how we're gonna craft Herald G. So this one is gonna be crit resist. I'm gonna craft this just for example. I'm trying to make this video as fast as possible for you guys. So once you've unlocked, once you've crafted it, go to character Herald G. You can equip it here. I'm not gonna equip. Eh, I'm not gonna equip it because I'm a mage. I'm a sorceress. I don't need. I don't actually need it now. Let me try. I'll just equip them for the sake of nothing because crap. You can only equip one type of heraldry at a time, so yeah, just keep unlocking. Just keep crafting until you fill all these. You're gonna unlock these by by a level. These slots. The next part is the jade. I think I've told you about this. Just keep getting jades. Uh, just and keep equipping them to your equipment. The title oh, I told you about that. What else is there? The mounts also give you extra battle points. You can get this red mount quite easily. You just need to collect 1000 dragon coins and then you can buy it here on the dragon coin market. 
Next step is so if you want a server set, all you need to do is go to first clear reward, head on to challenges. This is going to be the servers you can go in there at, at the maximum of three per day. So my suggestion, my suggestion is go now. As long, go with a party that knows how to help, and just collect the materials you need for the servers set. And what else is there? So if you want to level up, all you need to do is go to events, my mistake, not here as well, I mean daily, and on the daily quest, so basically you can do the daily quest, where is that priestess, hold on I'm gonna look for the dark priestess so you know where she is, I'm lost. There we go. You can, you're gonna see this broken mirror portal thingy. So all you have to do is talk to her, and it's gonna, and she's gonna give you a quest. Right now, I've already p finished the quest, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like here on the daily, daily menu. Here she is, you got all you have to do is check the event and she's gonna tell you to do this, collect two sculpture de defenses, all you have to do is click it, it's gonna show you the dungeon where you need to go. Complete the downstream flooded land land once. This is gonna be a best quest, so it gives you extra extra EXP. So once you've completed this, it's gonna she's gonna give you 15,000 EXP and when you submit this, you can see it, the 15,000 EXP actually. You're gonna get some juicy rewards. So basically that's all you need to do, you just need to do it every day, contribute to your guild, everything, just keep doing this as a routine and your battle points are gonna go up really high. Right now I'm on 66,000 and I'm gonna show you one gameplay because this video is still not 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the Cerberus Nest. We're gonna head on out to hard mode because I've already finished three parts of the sets. I'm gonna find a good team. I don't wanna go in some random team again because it always messes me up. Okay, this seems to be a good enough team. And they don't seem to be starting. See, as I've said, I'm not the strongest person in this game. You can see these guys 75,000, 74,054. Okay, they seem the leader seems to be busy. So I'm gonna leave this team. Check them out, eleven K. I hope they start, they're gonna be strong. Uh, so I guess I'll give you guys a tutorial on 84,000, oh my god. Damn it, they had no attempts left. Need to find a good team. God, you're weak. I'm not joining you. My god, these people are powerful. <laughs> So server's hard mode is actually no joke, it's gonna be hard as hell. Come on, start. 
so we're gonna wait for a while and, until this person starts the game. Okay, they're taking too long. Oh god. They're pretty low on battle points. Cool costume we got there. Don't wanna do random because oh my god, I could be wasting my own attempt. Screw this, okay, we're doing random. <laughs> Again, my tip is to do servers right away. When your battle points and level is good enough for the game. Hope they have good battle points. So on this first first trial you're gonna be battling two minotaurs so the only way to kill them is to keep them separated because the other minotaur releases some kind of shield that makes them invulnerable so the best way to kill them is separate them okay this one's gonna be invulnerable so we're gonna go ahead and attack the other one again keep them separated because when they're together on that circle, that white circle, both of them are gonna be invulnerable. Oopsie. I missed on that one. Once invulnerable, switch to the next one. Okay, they're together again. There's one left. On oh, the next step is gonna be the Orc Brothers. You need to kill them on 10 seconds in turbo, so it's gonna be the opposite on this one. 
it's best if they're together so you can kill them both at once because if one dies and the other one doesn't die for 10 seconds the other one is gonna revive it's gonna resurrect yeah this is the best way keep them both together hit them both hard AOE skills are best in this part Just keep their HPs as close to each other as possible. One's down, we need to kill the other one immediately. Oh crap, we're missing. I missed as well. Oh crap, okay, we failed. Red one's alive. The silver one's obviously gonna revive. That's just. Let this be an example of what happens if you fail. You're just gonna revive, keep reviving and reviving and reviving. So keep their HPs as close as, as possible. So my teammate looks like they're gonna die soon. So if you die here, you're basically screwed and you're just gonna watch your party. Finish the entire dungeon, so be careful. Again guys, as close as possible. Okay, let's stop hitting the red one for now. Crap! Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Okay, we made it. Thank God. Jesus Christ, that was so hard. We almost failed. Okay, now we're gonna be facing Kakari, the Cerberus. On easy mode and normal mode, it's gonna be a breeze. On hard mode, no. This dog is gonna keep knocking you down almost the entire time. Oh yeah, I forgot to say this dog is gonna freeze you as well. Keep on freezing you. He's gonna release some random dogs to hit you when he's gonna die. Crap. See what I mean? Frozen. Okay, here comes the doggies. That's gonna keep knocking you down.
Oh crap. It's like I'm gonna die. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I died. I'm gonna respawn. I was still focused on the video. I wasn't looking at my own HP. These dogs are a pain in the ass. And these skills hurt as hell. This is hard mode, hard mode everyone. There's gonna be one more higher than this. I died again! We finished. I wasted the respawn. Okay, we got front paw. All I need is one more front paw. So that's about it everyone, so let me give you a little recap on what you need to do. As long as you see red notification shits on buttons, do it. Craft. Enhance. Do every shit, all the minigames, keep doing it, the moniker, do everything. And it, it's gonna help you raise your battle points to the... To your dream battle point, of course. It's gonna make you stronger, keep doing everything that you can do in this game. So basically, it's not gonna be an easy game. There is stamina. There is maximum entrances on dungeons. Maximum attempts on abyss. Maximum attempts on towers. The jades. There's no maximum attempts on jades. Maximum attempts on boss, boss rush, abyss, and dragon expedition, dark temple. So if you want to enhance your items, go to the Dark Temple. It's gonna, it's gonna give you this. So basically, you can reset it once a day, then sweep it once a day. You get five. Ooh, get one more free request. Refresh. Choir. So you can do that once a day as well. So it's gonna help you enhance your equipment. So if I missed out on some of your questions and you have other questions, because I think, no, nobody's perfect, right? So if I missed out on anything or you want to ask me about something, leave it in, leave your questions on the comment section below. I'm gonna do my best to reply to all of them. Actually, actually, yeah, I'm gonna reply to all of them because don't have that many subscribers or anything so i'm gonna do my best to help you help you guys out i hope you guys <coughs> enjoy this video leave a like and subscribe gabby's out peace this is the